Доброго ранку. Я щойно прокинулася. I just wake up. І це мій влог про моє життя в Британії. This is my vlog about my British life. Почнімо. Let's get started. Щоранку. Every morning. Я приймаю душ. I take a shower. Чищу зуби. Brush my teeth. Вмиваюся. Wash my face. Роблю макіяж. Apply makeup. Ну, стоп, стоп. Stop, stop, wait. It's not true. I don't do makeup every day. Just when I record video lessons for you or when I have lessons in Oxford. Dobre, so we repeat it with you some uh, daily routine vocabulary. <laughs> so I'm a teacher and I like teaching you some phrases even if it's just my video vlog. What's that? Далі я маю сніданок, then I have breakfast, я їм вафлі з медом, I'm eating waffles with honey, також я п'ю каву, also I'm drinking coffee, це моя улюблена чашка, this is my favorite mug, I brought it from Ukraine, it is written, я українка, I'm Ukrainian, and also I have this coaster, так, дуже смачна кава. Так, і я зазвичай дивлюся новини, а usually watch some news або українську передачу о Ukrainian TV show, коли я їм when I eat. Ну що, я готова. So I'm ready. This is my favorite t-shirt. Це моя улюблена футболка. Made in Ukraine. Я зробила цей дизайн. I made this design. Ось такий у мене крутий жакет. I have such a cool jacket. And the last detail, остання деталь, це я маю ось такий значок. It's a pin. And there, there is an emblem of my college. I teach at St. Anthony's College in Oxford. So I wanted to have it, I got it, and I like it. Very professional teacher, дуже професійна вчителька. Зараз я йду на залізницю, I'm going to the railway station. Я не живу в Оксфорді, I don't live in Oxford, I live in a village, in a host family. And it is located not far from Oxford, so usually it takes 30 minutes to get there by train. Uh, сьогодні сонячний день. Today is the sunny day. Так, uh, ясне небо, clear sky. Пташки співають. Birds are singing. So, дуже гарний понеділок. It's a very beautiful Monday. And uh, it usually takes like 10 minutes for me to get to the railway station um, just walking пішки так ось так виглядає типове британське село that's how typical british village looks like але мені подобається i like it це мій потяг this is my train that will take me to hogwarts поїхали це я Дуже романтично дивлюся у вікно. I'm looking into the window romantically and thinking about my Ukraine, my love. Це залізниця Оксфорда. That's a railway station in Oxford. And now you can see how Oxford looks like. Зараз ви бачите, як виглядає Оксфорд. Це затишне місто. It's a cozy town. Я вже приїхала в Оксфорд. I have already arrived to Oxford. Але ще трішки рано. It is a little bit early. Зараз 12.27. It's 12.27. А uh, я маю урок о другій. I have a lesson at two. Тому зараз я йду в кав'ярню. Therefore, I'm going to coffee shop. 
пити каву, to drink coffee, і трішки працювати, and to work a little bit. В Оксфорді є багато ресторанів, пабів та кав'ярень. There are a lot of restaurants, pubs and coffee shops in Oxford. Це я працюю. That's me working. Pay attention, I have a sticker. Russian worship go <laughs> yourself on my laptop so I don't do any advertisement. Так. This is St. Anthony's College where I teach Ukrainian language. The pharmacy. Here how it looks like. So let's go. And I will have a lesson at 2 p.m. And it is a modern college in Oxford. So here you can see some old and modern buildings. And this is a very old one, I think the first one uh, that was built here. And there is a beautiful library. And I went to that library last week and talked to them about uh, bringing more Ukrainian books and textbooks there. And I think it will be very useful for the students who learn Ukrainian language. So I like it a lot. So you can see founders building and here you can see again the coat of arms of this college and you can see 40 years it was 40 years in 2022 so that's my way to the uh, college and this is the audience where I teach Ukrainian language so I'm looking forward for my students. Так. I stuck. So I just had a lesson. It was the seventh lesson with my students in Oxford and I taught him uh, accusative case and how to say the construction I have in Ukrainian language. And there are two variants how you can say that. So some explanations here. I wanted to record it a little bit, but I forgot. But anyway, um, I will keep teaching in Oxford. So I think I will record one um, lecture and I will ask my students beforehand if they're okay to do that. And then I will publish it on my YouTube channel. I think it will be interesting. I stuck. So, and now I'm going to the uh, tailoring library. Uh, it's another library in Oxford and I'm going to talk to them about um, uh, filling the library with the Ukrainian textbooks and books and I want to give them my textbooks about the cases, dialects and flashcards and also I'm going to talk with my Ukrainian colleagues and ask them to send their Ukrainian textbooks to this um, library at the St. Anthony's College and to the tailoring library uh, where you can find uh, different textbooks in um, uh, different languages. So students who learn foreign languages in Oxford, they go to that library. Tayloriana Institute. So I came here. Uh, there is a big library and when I came here it smells books very old books so let's go inside and see I'm going to meet here with the librarian Nick and he's going to show me everything Doug. we've got the historical personages on the top in the top row mm -hmm. and contemporary figures in the, in the bottom row that's yes, interesting. And who organized this exhibition? It was organized by Margarita Weissmann. Mm -hmm. So she used to work here in Oxford, but she's now based at St Andrews uh, in Scotland. Mm -hmm. 
but she organised it. It was shown first at St Cat's College, mm -hmm. and now it's moved here. And actually, next term in first week, we're going to have a, um, a workshop devoted to the exhibition. Okay. Там було багато різних мовних підручників. There were a lot of different language textbooks. Дуже багато. The librarian of the Taylorian Library showed me that they have uh, Ukrainian classic books and also some of the modern Ukrainian writers' books. Yeah, I see it's a classic one, Taras Shevchenko yeah. books. Lasia Ukrainka. Mm -hmm. Vasil Stefanik, yeah, it's uh, old yeah. editions. Let's have a look at the, uh, the more modern okay. um, collections. Mm -hmm. Some modern Ukrainian books, mm. and you need more. We would like more, ideally. They're very hard to get hold of at the moment. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I tried to record some videos in the tailoring library, but I couldn't record a lot because there should be a silence. Uh, and right now I'm just walking in Oxford. Just look at this beautiful buildings, beautiful streets uh, and I'm going to the post office right now uh, because I want to send a gift to my her son friend she fled uh, to Germany and she works uh, at the university there she has a PhD so um, she will have birthday soon, so therefore I decided to send her a gift to cheer her up because she's alone there, the same as I am, and I understand her very well because it is so tough to be uh, on your own, away from your home. Yes. Я на пошті. І буду відправляти подарунок моїй подрузі. I'm at the post office and I will send a gift to my friend. Я надіслала посилку подрузі. I sent a parcel to my friend. Uh, я сьогодні ділова ковбаса. I'm a busy bee today. І зараз я вертаюся у коледж. I'm coming back to St. Anthony's College because there is a seminar right now here and the topic is um, has the Russian invasion finished off the Ukrainian oligarchy so let's go together Khodima, Razom Poroshenko had a fight out with Kolomoisky's network and they needed to rely on Akhmetov and his group and um, Fertash and his group to, to offset it and this is the same this is MPs who the local journalists say well, a certain number of MPs are aligned with Kolomoisky, certain like with Akhmetov, certain like with Medvedchuk, um, and you can see that they all mostly rise except Pinchuk's. Uh, and this, this guy was a, a very wealthy um, Party of Allegiance guy who ran the uh, Renaissance group. So the, what, I, what, I, what I suggest here has happened is this is the final stage of the reconstitution of the oligarchy after the, um, the break of the Maidan. The first element that happens is the appointment of regional governors um, immediately after Russia tries to take over the Crimean parliament because they think that the Russians are going to invade from the north. The second one is the election of Poroshenko, who is a sort of second tier oligarch um, in the elections. Third one is the oligarchs come back because they need to fund the elections in late 2014 and elections in Ukraine are unusually expensive in relation to the size of the economy. And the, the seminar is finished. I'm going to the railway station. Usually it takes 20 minutes on foot to get there. 
and I'm returning my English home. I'm stuck.